What you've seen in the past half hour or so is why we think we have a shot at succeeding. You've seen our rationale, which actually should, in a sense, underpin the way we think about many diseases. That is, it's not just the cells that are in trouble that we need to think about, but we need to think about the cells in the environment. And maybe in some cases that will give us a leg up on the problem by thinking about the neighborhood and doing the kinds of rigorous experiments that Dr. Cleveland described and Dr. Marsala described to pinpoint whether it's the neighborhood or the actual cells that are in trouble that we need to think about replacing or augmenting. That, of course, is the theme that we've made all through here. This then summarizes our approach. We want to improve the neighborhood in Lou Gehrig's disease using human embryonic stem cells to make better quality astrocytes and implant them. I hope you've seen that we have an incredible, talented, interdisciplinary team working together, including with surgeons and other folks who weren't able to be here today. We have strong evidence and a rationale. We have the support of this board and the people of California, which we desperately need to do the work that we're trying to do. And you can be sure that we are going to do everything in our power to succeed. Now, I will say, because we are sometimes accused of overhyping this area, we have absolutely no guarantee of success. But I guarantee you that if we don't try, we will not succeed. And so our goal is to try to take that shot. And so with that, I'll hand the table back over to Chairman Klein. Uh, thank you, Larry. Uh, what a wonderful team. And uh, Dan Desmond, thank you for your eloquent uh, statement. Uh, it's important for those who will watch this uh, video of this to realize that they can do a web search for Don Cleveland on KPBS radio and uh, key into a wonderful half hour program that uh, Dan Desmond <coughs> did with uh, Don Cleveland. I think yesterday it aired uh, probably for the first time. Wonderful program. I highly recommend it. Uh, this is Senator Art Torres, who's uh, vice chair of our board. I wanted to say on behalf of uh, member David Serrano, who, who had to return to San Francisco, who is uh, MS, uh, diagnosed, and is a member of, of our board, wanted to express his gratitude for all the work you're doing in ALS. And secondly, is your wife with you, Doc, Mr. Desmond? Well, I think it's important that we also recognize caregivers who go through all this effort as well. So ALS is uh, a great challenge. Uh, as Larry says, uh, there is no assurance of success, but we have one of the finest teams in the world uh, dedicated here to eliminate uh, or at least mitigate this terrible uh, disease uh, that uh, strikes uh, so many members of our country and individuals around the world. Uh, we're going to break now, and I encourage you to spend a couple of minutes uh, speaking with the members who are here. Uh, we are on break, and thank you again.